What's a good conversation starter to ask your crush? Ask three questions. Ask them what they have done today. Ask a follow-up question or relate it back to something if you can before asking a follow-up did it take long? I used to do insert what crush did here. Was it difficult? If they gave an answer longer than a sentence. Then ask them a question about themselves but have this set up beforehand depending on how long you have known this individual. If they give a sentence answer. Try another follow-up question. If they give one to two word answers. Out of luck. So do you, like stuff? What is your favorite dinosaur? I wish they taught us more about Vikings. Whatever you do. Don't talk about COVID-19. You'd be better talking about your ex. Y'all like jazz? Do you like cheese? Who was your favorite figure that contributed to the fall of the Byzantine Empire? Have you ever heard the tragedy of Darth Plagueis? The wise? Are you spaghetti cuz I want you to meet my balls? What is your name? What is your quest? What is the airspeed velocity of an unladen swallow? I don't like sand. Do you work at the zoo? Because you look like a keeper. I do questions similar to a Voight Kampf test. You receive a windfall of money. And can go on any trip anywhere in the world for a month. Where do you go and what do you do? Ask them about their hobbies, passions, interests. Not only will you learn more about them but it will make them happy and enjoy your company more. People like talking about things they love. I could talk about sewing and beekeeping all day. Wanna see my Gundam collection? Step 1. Ask him, her what their biggest flaw is. Step 2. Interrupt him, her with something you think is lackluster. Step 3. Offer several recommendations to fix said flaw. Haha. <laughs> so what's your social security? If you know a common interest start on that. I.E. What's your favorite Star Wars movie? And then, why so? Uh, what TV shows are you watching right now? What breed do you? I had someone ask me this. So we both got buckets of chicken. Compliment them on something they've accomplished not a physical trait they were born with. For example, don't compliment their eyes but rather their running ability or singing etc. Then say you wanted to get to know them better and then ask questions and listen. Good luck. PFF. Foolish. The trick is to avoid contact at all so you won't be rejected B. What type of music are you into? Presumably you already run in some circles with and or know something of the interests of your crush. When asking about your crush's interests. Avoid yes, no questions or list requests. Instead, ask for explanations, insights or stories. For example, rather than ask what your crush's favorite movies or musicians are. Ask how your crush became interested in a certain kind of music or the movies of a certain director or actor. Hey, I think I like you. How does a date sound to you? Does this rag smell like chloroform? Is potato a sign of communism? How you doing? What music do you listen to? If you can establish some common ground. You have an excuse for conversation whenever a new album you both like is released. You heard about Pluto? It's messed up, right? A few years ago I ran into my crush and the only thing I could think to ask him about was to ask how much he knew about squatters rights law. We're married now. 10 out of 10 would recommend this channel of discussion. Just watch Johnny Bravo. Tons of pickup lines and tactical maneuvers to learn from it winking face. Do you like Phil Collins? 
I've been a big Genesis fan ever since the release of their 1980 album. Duke. Before that, I really didn't understand any of their work. Too artsy. Too intellectual. It was on Duke where Phil Collins' presence became more apparent. I think Invisible Touch was the group's undisputed masterpiece. It's an epic meditation on intangibility. At the same time, it deepens and enriches the meaning of the preceding three albums. Christy. Take off your robe. Listen to the brilliant ensemble playing of Banks, Collins and Rutherford. You can practically hear every nuance of every instrument. Sabrina. Remove your dress. In terms of lyrical craftsmanship. The sheer songwriting. This album hits a new peak of professionalism. Sabrina. Why don't you? Ah. Uh, dance a little. Take the lyrics to Land of Confusion. In this song, Phil Collins addresses the problems of abusive political authority. In Too Deep is the most moving pop song of the 1980s. About monogamy and commitment, the song is extremely uplifting. Their lyrics are as positive and affirmative as anything I've heard in rock. Christy. Get down on your knees so Sabrina can see your Phil Collins. Solo career seems to be more commercial and therefore more satisfying. In a narrower way. Especially songs like In the Air Tonight and Against All Odds. Sabrina. Don't just stare at it. Eat it. But I also think Phil Collins works best within the confines of the group. Then as a solo artist. And I stress the word artist. This is Susudio. A great. Great song. A personal favorite.